boarded a train and we are headed to Dimapur. Hey guys, made it to Dimapur railway station and I'm headed to Kohima later, so stay tuned. Welcome to Hornbill Festival. Stankers get away with pretty Naga ladies and I'm really feeling shot right now. But then it's so good to be here and be celebrating the Hornbill Festival with these pretties here. Okay. What's your favorite thing about this festival? This festival it unites the different culture and then all uh, everybody from all the world even Bhutan yeah we're here we so. come together we share our culture we know about each other and it's a special about for new festival wow. and yeah just like we bonding like yeah. different <laughs> tribes uh, different people so basically the festival is all about connecting people connecting lives uh, reviving old cultures and actually preserving the old tribal cultures and tradition here in Nagaland so yeah Finally, I'm attending the Hornbill Festival with this people. So it felt so nice to be finally here. And let's see, stay While tuned the for more adventure. Go out. And this is my first time here. And finally, it's really, really happening. For now, there are tribes performing. We're just sitting, chilling. Watching them perform, it's fun. Different, so, so, so many tribes here. I'm really getting confused now, but it's very. This is the place where one little festival takes place. So many tribes they perform in this ground, and let's see, I'm just trying to find a seat for myself. And finally, a proper seat for myself. That tribe, it's so complicated to like pronounce their words. The tribe name is the way that's called. Like, this is the ground, and, and there are thousands of people. There are many local tourists and international tourists as well. And they really treat tourists you well. Know. <laughs> Guys, these are like Garo. It's so fancy. Hamin, Tami. We have beautiful people here. Uzu Zangona. Jarimi. Guzu no, Zangola. Guzu Zangola. My new lover here in Nagaland. Every time I travel, I just fall in love with places and people. So yep, I think that's it. Here with the ladies of Hornbill Tribe. <laughs> the Naga people here and when you're here for the festival make sure you try this rice beer it's so good and they have this other appetizers as well that's pork inerts but make sure you have this it's too good ah, it's never late or never too early for the rice beer <laughs>
like the king of this tribe and the name of this tribe is Tongue Tribe. He's very famous actually, many photographers are after him. And here I am trying to pose him. He looks so majestic, very wild, majestic and nice. Very exotic. He's very famous here. So if you're coming here for the next Hornbill Festival, make sure you find this guy and do a nice picture with him. Lower the This is a display of the traditional handicrafts products, soft metal work, woodworks, accessories and necklaces. Guess what? I'm right at the hilltop, and this is like the whole area where you can actually see tribal dancing there. So that's the spot. So if you want to see the bird eye view of the Hornville Festival, you just need to drive up and then enjoy the show from the hilltop. Right there, someone's dancing right now. It's some tribe right there. That's interesting. And some people are shooting. Festival. If you want to know more about the festival, you can always find me on Dengas Getaway. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and find me on Instagram for more travel vlogs. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. It's over though. On the final day. So guys, there are so many stalls here. If you want to buy some Naga Naga products, drop by at Runway, Runway Naga. You can follow them on Instagram. Just buy their product. It's really authentic. Uh, it's made in Nagaland, so that makes it special look at it. Nini, thank you so much for this. Loving it. Guys, guess what? I have all the Bhutanese bikers here and they are from? Gelipo. Oh yeah, Team Gelipo. 